What's the insurance for the motorcycle? I downloaded my vehicle information and now I'm trying to find a printer in this small village. The restaurant. Okay, so this is some kind of a restaurant then. This is probably what I'm looking for. Hopefully. Traveler's choice. Okay. So yeah, let's let's see if we can get the papers printed here. I'm not sure if it's perfectly legit to just print the papers yourself. It's not exactly the same paper that they are asking. But it does have all the vehicle information, but it's all in Finnish. But if it, <laughs> I think I'm gonna still try to across the border with those printed papers. If that doesn't go through, then I will stay in Croatia until I get the papers from Finland. Somehow, like scanned or sent by post. <laughs> so <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting, interesting test of the border crossing here. But let's see how this goes. Hello, is this the restaurant? Yeah. Ah, I was told uh, in the fire department that I could print a couple of papers here and maybe eat. Or yeah, Nick should call me. Do you need photocopy something? Or yeah, a couple of papers only. Okay, Just you can send, you can, uh, we email and uh, you can print them. Yeah, it's yeah, a PDF. Them, yeah. Perfect. Pretty interesting day. I'm gonna try to cross later this afternoon. They might be pretty cross at me because I don't have the exact official paper but I have the papers that say the same things. I'm gonna video this. <laughs> I might need three or four attempts to get cross but uh, let's try anyway. The attempt number two to get to Montenegro. <sighs> I'm a bit stressed if I get through. But now I have more papers, not exactly necessarily the right papers, and my papers are all in Finnish. So, kind of interesting to see if they let me in. But there's, there's a lot of border crossings to do with these kind of uh, weird papers that I have. The worst thing that can, can happen, they can put me in, in bars and jail. <laughs> Just joking. They probably, the worst thing is that we have to turn back again and uh, do this do this many times. It has been a few hours, so maybe there's a different official at the mo at this time. That, yeah. And that's the insurance for the motorcycle. I can show you. I can show you on this. so worried at the border <laughs> by some miracle we are in Montenegro so I got in beautiful that was like uh, potentially a two-week delay on this trip but no of course this can happen again in the Montenegro Albania border but I got in by two checkpoints all they needed to know is a paper where the registration number and type of the bike is so it's a Yamaha and therefore, even though the papers were in Finnish, the guy was uh, okay with it in both checkpoints. So we are in. Montenegro is a pretty small country, so I'm gonna be at the Albanian border pretty quickly. But I'm gonna rebook, at least I'm gonna try to rebook the Airbnb that I had before and I cancelled. I lost 15 euros with that whatever it's close to albanian border so from there i can easily go and test 
if my papers still work. And if they don't work, I'm gonna be staying in Montenegro for the next week or maybe two weeks. So everything's fine for now. I'm just happy I don't have to stay in Croatia because I would have to be going back to Dubrovnik and I don't wanna go back and forth. I'm making progress, which is great. Maybe I can still stay there. They had a washing machine, which was a pretty good deal. So see you later on the road. <laughs> it's fantastic. Yes, it took me a few hours, but we are in Montenegro. Yeah, we got through two checkpoints. Next one to worry about is the Montenegro-Albanian border. But if we can go through that, the last one is the Albania to Greece border. And if we can go through all the way with those papers that I have, I'm gonna be a happy camper. But I have the official papers in order in Finland. And my sister or my father, they can send the papers to me via mail. But the problem is that I don't have a permanent address here. And I don't stick in one place for very long. But they can of course scan the papers, I can print them again here. They are a bit more official than the actual prints from the Traficom. But uh, it could be that I'm fine with these papers. They have the same information. So it's only problem is that it's maybe a little bit hard to find because the papers are in Finnish. And I'm not too bothered about staying in Montenegro for a long time time I could stay here for two weeks easily but if I can get to Albania that would be interesting because I've already been to Montenegro for a week I have never been in Albania so that would be something new to me and therefore a bit more interesting I think there's a ferry on the way as well if I remember correctly I'm not sure but I think this cost something there is some kind of a payment you need to make pretty sure that it's cash only <coughs> one motorcycle okay with the card thank you Yeah, we got li really lucky. The ferry was just leaving and we just got the ticket. These views are something else. Yeah, I think this is Budva, Montenegro. I remember these crossings and this view when I was here last. I was here for a week, about five years ago. It's a really nice place to stay for even a longer period of time. If you're ever in Montenegro, you can get really affordable places to stay if you're not right in the vicinity of the beach but I intentionally skipped Budva on this trip because I already be was here and I don't think there's anything else to see I had a I had plenty of time to walk around this place in a week and I'm not really a beach guy so I'm on this trip I'm happy to just pass by Someone really wants us to vote for number five. <laughs> I've seen like 10 of those 
billboards, very big ones. Yeah, I remember these houses. I was paragliding there on top of the ocean and I remember seeing these. On my video. I have a video of that too, but they are home at my network drive that I can't access to. Yeah, as you can see, it's a very beautiful place um, and a very affordable place as well, even though it's a city this size. It's and there's some tourists here, of course. It's still not crazy expensive. I remember going to hair, getting a haircut here and the girl said seven euros <laughs> pretty much in the middle of the of the city. Yeah let's try to get through this city and hope that uh, going gets a little bit more easy. Gotta get 